Smrr. The Smack Volume 8 card. I see a lot of pushback on it. I don't think that it's trash. I don't think that it's the best card ever, but it could produce at least maybe one. One classic battle, hopefully. Let's start with the first matchup. Chilla Jones versus Kid Chaos. So this is a grudge match on the card, and I think this battle just happened a little too early. I would like to see Kid Chaos get his feet wet first, maybe for about another year, have a few more matchups before this particular one, but I guess they didn't want to wait too long, a la Verb and Head Ice. I needed Kid Chaos to work up his name a little bit before taking this battle, but this should be a war with words, simply put. Now let's break down who this battle means more to. Chilla Jones was the champion of the year last year, and he hasn't battled much for 2021. He had a good, respectable win versus K-Shine, but later in the year, he took an L to Tayrock. So you know he's looking for a W in the win column to finish off the year. Now, Kid Chaos, you gotta think about it. You gotta think about it. In his class, where do you rank him? Do you rank him number one? <laughs> no. Why not? Let's break down some of the people in his class. Jada Nightwing, Luke Castro, Real Sit, Easy to Block Captain, Fonz. You could easily make the argument that Kid Chaos is last on that list. As far as status, as far as status and popularity, he hasn't been straight dumpster juice. He's had respectable matchups. He went against JC. He lost that one. He's been in the ring versus Chess. He lost that one. His last battle, he even went against Jay the Nightwing. You lost. Didn't win that one either. So he's put in work, but isn't enough for him to prepare himself to go against one of the best pens ever. The next battle, JC versus Sirius Jones. Now, JC has been on a hiatus since he had a death in his family. Condolences to JC. We haven't seen JC since First Lady Flames. He got her out of here. So we're kind of excited to see him back in the ring, back in a URL setting. I know he has a chip on his shoulder. I personally think that he is still one of the top five pens right now. So when you think about who he's going against in Sirius Jones, he's been pretty active. He was in the UM3 tournament. He just went against Swamp a few weeks ago. And Sirius Jones just doesn't take L's. Plus the optics can be a little bit challenging for JC with Sirius Jones being so tall, JC being so short, and Sirius Jones just towering over him. That could be an issue. Sirius Jones gets a little bit more aggressive than he does also. So when you pair all that together, he would just be barking down on him. JC would have to get in his bag bag to win that one. I, want, I don't have any doubts that JC cannot beat Sirius Jones. B-Dot versus Av. B-Dot is one of those battle rappers that could rap rap. But the thing is, he's going against someone who could rap rap too. Listen, listen B-Dot. Listen B-Dot, you better be on your A game. You hear me? You need to be on your A game. Because if you watch that battle with Av versus Real Sick, and if you get that Av, it's going to be a long night. I need you to be on your P's and Q's. No slip ups. Don't get mad. Have your material down pack. Don't be talking through Av's rounds. Oh, that, that's not true. Don't, don't get mad. None of that. I need you to focus. I know with your style, you just rap straight through. But with Av, he raps straight through too. Just he doesn't take his foot off the gas. But he has crazy haymakers and punches as well. Just lyrical bullets. And Av punches harder. To neutralize what Av can potentially do in this battle, you are going to have to go a route of trying to punch as good as he does. I mean, you can punch at a fast rate. Look back at B-Dot versus Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty is one of the best punchers in the world. 
if not the best. But when you look at what B Dot did on that rooftop and able to win that battle, you have to get in that type of lane in order to beat Av. You need to get in that type of lane to try to pull out that win. <laughs> and another thing, you staying on URL and not coming outside to battle Mickey Fax on RBE, you better win this battle and win it convincingly. You can't be ducking Mickey Fax trying to stay on URL and you're just losing. You need to have a performance where Mickey Fax might have to second guess about doing his last battle on RBE and take on B dot on URL first before his last matchup on RBE. You need to show Mickey that you ain't running, that you there, that you bring in home W's. I mean, you got a lot riding on this battle. Let's see if you can pull it off. Let's see if Av, on the other hand, can pull this off. Him beating real sick and then turning around and beating B dot. That's the tag team champion right there. That's the summer impact tag team right there. So let's see if you can take the W on both of those battlers. So DNA versus King Los. <sighs> so this is a so this is an example of being amazing in one sport, then crossing over to a similar sport and being average and mediocre. How do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime would fare in a Ninja Warrior competition? Think of Michael Jordan. He was a god in basketball, but didn't really reach those heights in baseball. But he didn't really, but he didn't really reach those heights in baseball. Completely different sports. But when you think about hip hop music in the industry versus battle rap, those are completely different sports too. So on the King Los, King Los is amazing and he's really, really dope. And you put him up there with all the lyricism, black thought, you know, lyrical, spiritual type of rappers. But you have but you had two showing so far in the battle rap world and they're pretty good showings. I mean, you weren't terrible. You weren't garbage. You even had a promising showing versus Daylight that had many of you even winning that battle. But to be fair, Daylight was maybe about 60% in that battle. The first battle, the first round, Daylight had a monstrous first round. Daylight phoned it in for the second round. And the third round, it seemed like he just wanted to get it over with. Whatever, it's Daylight. So who knows the reason why King Los, but you lost that first round. You lost that first round badly. And you were actually pretty good. Imagine if Daylight decided to keep his foot on your neck for the next two rounds. If he had his round two and round three, just like his round one. You would have lost 3-0. And like I said, that day was only about 60%. Even his first round, which was his best round, wasn't better than none of his three rounds versus Tay Rock. So you need to think about that as you're putting your rhymes together for DNA. DNA is most likely going to be at 100. He's a seasoned vet. And there's history behind this battle. So the question is, do you think King Los has hit his ceiling? Even though he did a well versus Daylight and Head Ice, is that the best you think he can do? We see different ways DNA can pull out battles by taking crowds, winning off pure lyricism, on point with freestyles and rebuttals. But does King Los have that X factor to pull out a win versus DNA, who already feels highly disrespected by Los? And when you step back, this is actually a pretty amazing matchup. I mean, you do realize that these two can freestyle. I can see both of them going back and forth, freestyling, doing rebuttals, should be very entertaining. And one more thing about DNA. DNA has been in his bag this year. No gun, 
No gun bar, no gun bar DNA has proved that he could win in various ways, which makes him very versatile and dangerous. Now to the headliner, the headline battle, a verb coming out of retirement to go against head ice. Now, now verb, you coming back outside after being so-called retired you better be you better be one of the best verbs we've seen in recent memory. You better come top notch. Pause. We don't need to see that mojo zen verb. I expect nothing less than a 2-1 verb or gentleman's 30. There is no outcome that you should come out of retirement for. There is no other outcome that you should come out of retirement for than to get a W clearly. Now we seen Ice a few, now we saw Ice a few months ago and he did pretty good against Av. He won that 2-1. So I already know that Head Ice is ready. I'm not worried about Head Ice. And I understand this one is a grudge match. I'm not too impressed with the Verb's last battle versus Tay Rock. Man, that was the snooze fest. No one stayed around to watch that, and even when they did, it was a disappointment. Verb is falling into that career rap trap where battles do nothing to add to your legacy. The rock battle didn't even move the needle on where you place at on people's lists. When I look at Verb versus when I look at Verb versus Ice through a lens of just pure sport, a simple exhibition match, well, I could see that it could be kind of enjoyable, but not headline an entire card enjoyable but as a one-off it could be okay through those type of lenses especially with the history behind this matchup i try to stay optimistic about this one so yeah that's that whatever don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment this is battle rap critic Stay safe, enjoy the battles, have fun, keep the peace, peace out.